So I'm just going to talk through what I'm going to do because I'm going to show you on the sped up version how I actually do it. Um, just because I can't do both at the same time. I feel like that would just be too much for me. Some people do it. I'm not one of those people. So I just open up this can. I have two of them just in case I need to. Um, and then I put it on the bottom of this pan like that. And then I put the Velveeta cheese, which is in the fridge. Sorry, I'm a little bit in a hurry right now because I still have some other things I need to do before I can leave. Um, and then this, this is not Velveeta just because of Velveeta is like twice as expensive. Um, but it's basically the same thing. And you just cut it into slices as I will show you and then layer it on top and then you put it in the oven, which I'm going to turn on now for 350. Um, once it's melted a little bit, like the cheese is melted a little bit. You can put it on broil to give it like a little bit of a golden brown look, but you don't do that until the very end when the cheese is completely melted so you don't burn anything. So yeah, that's about it. And then you put the salsa on top once it's all done. But I will show you that later. So I put it in for 10 minutes. Um, it wasn't on 350 the whole time because I actually put it in the oven right when I turned it on. Or I turned it on like two minutes before I put it on. So it wasn't fully preheated. Um, but 10 minutes was perfect. So I'll show you. Let me turn this around. Okay. What do I, that's terrible lighting. There's probably something on. Nope. Didn't do anything. Anyway. This is what it looks like. This is what you want it to look like, all melted like that. And then I'm going to turn on the broil setting just so we can give it like a golden brown look to it. So that's all done flavor wise. And now we're just going to do a broil for the aesthetic. And you really got to watch it. If you've never broiled anything before, then you, um, or if you have broiled things before, then you'd know that it, um, it goldens really, really quickly. Can't put it in the oven and on broil and then go take a shower because it'll be um, like burned to a crisp by the time you come back to it. All right, guys, and this is what it looks like. <clears throat> now you can do it less or more um, depending on what you want. I it just looks like this way because I was trying to get most of it to look. I don't know if you can see like that right there. Where it's like golden, like this. Where it kind of looks like the cheese off of a pizza. That's what I was kind of go for. That's why the edges are a little bit like the top part of it uh, burnt. But it's okay because it won't um, affect the taste very much. Just because it's you know, not. It's just like a t teeny bit of the top layer. So now what I'm going to do. I'm going to put some salsa on it. Uh, hang on a second. So get yourself a spoon. And just go ahead and pour the salsa on top. 
And again, like I said, some people like to put it on before they bake it, like underneath the cheese or even on top and then bake it with the salsa on it. Totally just up to you, preference-wise, whether you want it that way or if you want to put it on after. And I'm going to do this. I'm going to, after I put all the salsa on, I'm going to see if I have aluminum foil. Because I actually still have about an hour before I need to leave. I wasn't entirely certain how long this was gonna take. I knew it wasn't gonna take that long, but I didn't run into the didn't want to run into the problem where I'm like, oh, I got plenty of time, and then before I know it, I have five minutes. Because as you'll see, it takes about ten minutes to get the cheese to melt, and then a couple extra minutes if you want to broil it, and then you have a couple of minutes to put the salsa on. So it probably takes about fifteen minutes. 15 to 20 minutes after you've layered everything, baked it, um, optional, broil it, and then layered the salsa on it. So there we are. I would do a taste test for you, but I'm about to take it to a party with a group of people, so I don't want to do that because that's gross. To show up with like a partially eaten dish is just weird. So yeah, but that's what it looks like.